To create this design, you need to add a cylinder with the 24 words. Then S and Shift Z and scale it along the X and Y axis like this. Then rotate it into 90 degree. Then S and X scale it along the X axis. Then Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 90 degree. And then scale it along the Z axis in this way. Then move it along the Y axis. Then add one loop cut here and add bevel on it like this. Then select the spaces and E to extrude them and move them along the Y axis. Then S, Y and give the value 0. Bring it here and then S, X and scale them along the X axis like this. Then select these two objects and Shift Q use the boolean operation union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Select the space, not 3D cursor to it. Select this space, change the transform to it point to 3D cursor and SC and give the value 0. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance, double words will get merged. Then select these words and merge at last. Then use the knife tool and create cut along the X axis and then dissolve these edges. Then dissolve these edges like this. Then take the symmetry along the Z axis. Apply the rotation and apply the scale. Then use the knife tool and create this cut. And then dissolve this edge. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. Select this edge loop and move it along the Y axis. And then S and X scale it along the X axis. Move it along the y axis little bit and then add a bevel on it. Like this. Fill in these faces and use the insert operation. Use the insert operation one more time and then dissolve these edges. Take the symmetry, then select these face loops and then extrude them along the normal. Then select this face loop and S and X scale it along the x axis. Then select these faces. And use the insert operation and control X to dissolve these edges. Right click, breach faces. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. And then dissolve these edges. Then use the knife tool and create one cut here. Then select these faces and delete them. Then select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Add one loop cut here. Dissolve this edge. Select this words and press M merge at last. In this way. Then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then add one loop cut here. Select this words and press J to connect them. And then create cuts along the Z axis in this way. And then create cuts along the X axis. Then add one loop cut here, then S, X and give the value 0, move it along the Y axis in this way, add one loop cut here, then select these words and press J to connect them, and then merge these words and dissolve this H, then select this H loop and control B add bevel on it, add two segment bevel and shape factor should be 1. Then select these words and merge at last. Then add one loop cut here. Select these words and press J to connect them. Then add one loop cut here. Then select these words and press J to connect them. Select these words and merge at last. And then dissolve this H. Select this H loop and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Then add one loop cut here. Then create cut along the Z axis and create cut along the X axis. Then create cuts like this and then connect these words. Then create cut along the Y axis like this. And then create cut along the X axis in this way. And then create cut here and then create cut along the Z axis and X axis. And here also create cut. So the loop structure will go like this. 
Then take the symmetry mesh and symmetrize. Then select these faces and control X to resolve them. Then S shift G scale them along the Z axis. Use the insert operation S and Z scale them along the Z axis and right click the each faces. Then select this edge loops and control B and add bevel on them. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. And then add two loop cuts and then connect these words in this way. And then hit the control 2 and add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. And you can add one loop cut here. And here you will get little pinching, but that's totally fine. It is all this H. So in this way you can create this kind of designs. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.